Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition. So, <clears throat> as a kid, I had the original NES. Uh, in fact, here's a picture of me getting it for Christmas right here. And I have to say, when I heard this was coming out, it brought back a lot of great memories. I tried one of those retro game system things uh, a few years back. It was kind of a generic Nintendo. Uh, and it worked okay, but there was just too many buttons on the controller. It had the regular up and down arrows, select, start. And it had four, four buttons. And they all... Uh, there's two B's and two A's, and both ones did pretty much the exact same thing. I'm not sure what the reason for that was. Uh, but I really didn't care for it all that much. Uh, I had a bunch of cartridges. About half of them worked. Half of them didn't. So when I heard they were coming out with this NES Classic Edition that had games included, I I, I had to get one. And so the wife mentioned to me that uh, she wanted to get the Super NES Classic Edition, which GameStop no longer carries. Uh, she saw it at GameStop on Friday. We went back yesterday, and they said they no longer carry it, which kind of sucked. But we went ahead and got this NES Classic Edition. Uh, we did pay $60 for it. Uh, it comes with 30 classic NES games included. Official Nintendo seal. There's the Nintendo logo. And judging from the box, this box, they did not go with the uh, design of the original NES for the uh, packaging. Uh, but the packaging does kind of uh, give you that classic feel. Uh, here's the side of it. NES console. It's a retro blast from the past with the return of the all-time fan favorite Nintendo Entertainment System. This mini-sized NES Classic Edition system is packed with 30 pre-installed Classic Nintendo Entertainment System games from the 80s, fully loaded and ready to play using the original style NES Classic controller. There's Bowser. Uh, the bottom and pretty much the same thing here only in Spanish and uh, French I believe and then same thing on uh, this side here uh, only it's about the controller play classic NES games the way they were meant to be played on a full-sized original NES controller just plug it in and you're ready to go includes all the original features plus control pad for quick control and movement a and B buttons for rapid fire action and select and start for menu selection and pausing the game. Pretty cool. And here's just some of the games that are included on the front here. Uh, Super Mario Brothers, Metroid, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Zelda, uh, Kirby's Adventures. And then we move around to the back and we have a full list of the games. We have Balloon Fight. Bubble Bobble, Castlevania, Castlevania 2 Summons Quest, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon 2 The Revenge, Dr. Mario, uh, Excite, what is it? Excite Bike, uh, Final Fantasy, uh, Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins, Gradius, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventures, the original Mario Brothers, not Super Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers. Uh, this was the game that introduced, well, it came out after Donkey Kong. Uh, I believe uh, Mario seemed to be kind of a popular character in the original Donkey Kong 
I've never played Donkey Kong, so I'm not really sure if it was Donkey Kong or Donkey Kong Jr. that he was in. Uh, but he was a popular character, so he, they gave him his own game. And it it, it looks more like um, kind of a Donkey Kong meets the Goonies game. Uh, rather than the Super Mario Brothers that we know and love. Uh, and that later developed into the Super Mario Brothers franchise. Uh, we've also got Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, which was another great game I had, uh, Pac-Man, Punch-Out! featuring Mr. Dream, uh, Star Tropics, Sug uh, Super C, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario two, Brothers 2, and Super Mario Brothers 3, along with Tecmo, Tecmo Bowl, The Legend of Zelda, and Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link. Uh, a couple games I wish they would have included on here was uh, Asionics. And the uh, Quadro Combo Adventures, or Quadro Adventures, uh, it was a four-in-one game that my grandma had got me for Christmas one year off the Home Shopping Network. Uh, it had uh, Super Robin Hood, um, Boomerang Jack, or something like that, and a couple others. Really fun games from what I remember. Uh, so here on the top we have the Nintendo controller with classics on there. Now let's go ahead and open it up and take a look inside. Uh, you will notice I did already cut the tape off of it. Flip it open like that. go ahead and set the box to the side. Take a look. Comes with a little booklet. Go ahead and open this up. Looks like maybe a booklet and a poster. Pretty cool poster. Once I get a bigger place and I have my own office, I will definitely be hanging this up. Along with my other gaming posters. Uh, here's the warranty and user agreement information. Um, also on the back of this poster, comes with the NES Classic Edition startup instructions. Okay. Now, first things first, let's take a look at the controller. It does have kind of a styrofoam blanket on it. Plastic wrap around the cord with a twist tie. And the cord is not very long. It's maybe three feet long which means you're really gonna have to be sitting right up on the game to uh, play it luckily for me uh, I don't really need that long of a controller I think you can buy adapters um, but I play my games on the for the most part on the corner of my bed and the TV is right there so I don't really need that long of a cord. Uh, 
However, I can tell I may end up having some issues. I, um, I may need to get the adapter. Because I'm one of those players that likes to move when I'm playing. And this is almost identical to the original Nintendo controller. Uh, the pad itself is identical. You have the directional switch, select, start, B and A, uh, and then Nintendo design there. Uh, the only thing different really, other than the length of the cord, would be the style of the plug-in. So, set that to the side. Here's the plug-in for it. USB jack there. Everything else is tucked underneath. So we have here the HDMI cable. And it may be a decent length. Uh, you won't be able to have it too far away from the TV. Uh, but it'll give you a little bit of reach. And then we have the charger. Secured with a twist tie. And plugs in just like that. And this ends will plug into the NES Classic. get that out of the way. The NES Classic is very small. I'm surprised how many games they were managed to pack into this thing because of how small it is. It is wrapped in a styrofoam blanket. And yeah, it is, it looks like a miniature version of the original Super, or the original Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, you got the power button. You have the reset button. You have the light display to indicate power. And controller one and controller two. This did only come with one controller. Here we have the HDMI out and the DC in. Which plug in. Just like that. And oh, HDMI cable. Plugs in. Just like that. Okay. which is different from the original Nintendo Entertainment System. It had the red and white uh, coax cables, as well as the uh, screw-on cable that plugged into the TV. Uh, very nice. This door, it, it's, it doesn't open. It's just there to make it look like the original Nintendo Entertainment System. Very cool. Very nice. Sorry, guys, had a phone call. I'm one of those scammers, so apologize for that. Uh, but as you can see, the underneath looks almost identical to the original. It's got the non, -sli non slide pads on the feet. Very nice. Now, 
I'm going to go ahead and switch over and we'll get into a little bit of the gameplay. Keep in mind, I do not have a capture card. So all gameplay footage will be through my phone uh, zoomed in on the screen. So sit tight, everyone. As you can see here, got a uh, selection here. We'll choose English. Then we'll go down to OK. Uh, So since Super Mario Brothers is the one I am most familiar with, as you can see here, there's the original Mario Brothers. But since I'm most familiar with Super Mario Brothers, we'll go ahead and play that one first. Alright, so for whatever reason, my camera quit recording, so I went ahead and exited out. But if you leave it on this screen for a long enough time, uh, a little, uh, oh. You can save, it looks like. That was my pre... That's where I left off on Super Mario Brothers. Um, before I noticed the uh, camera screen, or the camera had shut off. Uh, but I'm going to start over from the beginning. It is identical to the original. It's pretty cool that you can actually save your game though. Which is something the original Nintendo you couldn't do unless of course you had a game genie. The graphics are identical. Shouldn't have broken that one. There we go. B is also run faster. Ah, ooh, that was close. And we'll go ahead and skip to level four. Ah, no. 
But as you can see, guys, it's pretty much the same. So I'm going to leave it here and um, tune in again. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to beat this game for once in my life. I never got to beat it before. So have a good one, geeks. Take care. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.